Breaking news this morning on jobless claims. Fewer Americans join the unemployment line than were expected. We're going to go straight to Michael Casey, who's going to be joining us. I'm Kelsey Hubbard. Thanks for joining us here on the News Hub this morning. Michael, thanks for being here. Uh, Hi, not a trend last week. The numbers spiked no, up, uh, and it looks like this week we got a little bit a, uh, of a, a reprieve. Relief, yeah, yeah, because last week we had this big jump of 385,000, which was uh, quite an anomaly compared to this general 350, 360 number that we've been seeing for some time. And, of course, you know, it came around the time of those very poor jobs report that followed the following Friday. So a lot of concern about the labor market. Um, big questions about whether or not last Friday's jobs report was an anomaly or not. So the fact that we've now dropped back down to 346,000, which, which is good news of course, um, is, is helping those bullish perspectives that say, you know what, last Friday or, or, or um, March's numbers right. really weren't that much of a trend, maybe the labor market is in fact improving. Because so people are really trying to hang on to some of the data coming out to really see if we're, we're getting a grip on that recovery. Of course, and it's of steady course the Fed is growing. the most important element of this, as always. So right. we're just watching what the what the Feds read on this. There's a big debate going on, on within the Fed, as we found out yesterday in the minutes from the most recent meeting, over when they should or shouldn't uh, pair back on, on the big bond buying program that's been a major support to the market. So no, I know you're also watching at, right, uh, the, the yen and down numbers as well. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, it's, it's like two um, synchronicity, if you like, in uh, these, these important round target numbers. I, I, I'm an FX guy, so we're just watching, watching the yen at the moment. We're very close to the 100 mark. and We've been there for like three days now. So it's kind of painful Chinese water torture to some extent. We, we got up with, I think, as high as 9983, but we're just unable to break through it. There's a feeling that a lot of people are, are protecting their positions because they, they put options in to protect their positions around these big numbers. And so people don't want to trigger those options because it means they have to come back and start um, selling the yen to pick it up. And so those that would wouldn't want that to happen, of buying the yen to protect it, and that's preventing it from rising higher. But the general consensus is that we will at some point break through that number, and that there will probably be some sort of impact when that happens. Um, this is all because of the Bank of Japan's aggressive new monetary policy, which has seen weakening the yen. And this is happening in sync with the Dow, uh, okay. another very strong day yesterday. We've had three of them now this week, um, pushing up in the range of the 15,000 mark, which is you know quite remarkable right. given uh, how far we've already come. And given that today's numbers that are stronger on the unemployment right, you know, front, we, we, you know, we'll we might to see, see how things go. But, continue. Um, yeah, we're a couple hundred points away from that, so not quite as close as we are at, at uh, for the yen, but it is you know, a, a nice round number to, to, to get excited about. All right, well, we I'm this. excited, I know, and I'm excited about the three oh, stocks you're watching I today. Too. <laughs> Metro PCS is one of them. Uh, Deutsche Telekom, as, as our viewers would know, has been you know, attempting to uh, to buy this company. This is through its T-Mobile its, its, um, unit. Uh, a lot of resistance from shareholders who said it was too much of a stingy deal. Um, a, a couple of big players, including some proxy advisors, have said don't take the deal to, to shareholders. So Deutsche Telekom came back and sweetened the deal last night, um, most importantly reducing the interest cost, the, 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 the debt burden that, that the new company would have to bear, which means the equity value of what, they're gonna, what the shareholders are going to take in that deal will rise. Shares are up a little higher, but there's still some doubt as to whether or not this is enough to win over those proxies who are uh, opposed to the deal at this stage. Um, second stock, Yum Brands, um, my, some favorite restaurants. my favorite name too. <laughs> um, having a hard time in China at the moment. They just they came out and just said that they uh, they had you know, weak, weak earnings there, weak, weak revenue in China uh, over the last quarter, uh, but just as important, or rather just in March. But most importantly, very recently, they've had a big scare, of course, in their KFC outlets uh, over the mm. avian flu. And right. so not particularly good news there for, for no. young brands. China is a huge part of their portfolio, very important. And uh, anything that sort of smacks of, of bird flu doesn't tend right. to be Right, everyone well remembers the, sales, the 2003 SARS uh, epidemic, the Sony thing like that and, uh, scares people. And I know you're looking at uh, some retailers. You yeah, have a twofer for us. Well, it's actually a few of them. We've got <laughs> it's same store sales today. So we get, we get the, the, the monthly reports out from various uh, retailers on, on how things are looking on a, on a store by store comparison basis. Um, Costco's were out, they were uh, up 4% their sales, so that's, that's presumably better, but it was shorter than what we what people were expecting, which was a 5.2% rise. Uh, Gap uh, also out, those fell by 2.1%. That's sharply down from 8% gain from a month, month or a year ago. Um, so this is, I mean, there's some middling numbers, this is often the case in these. Pier 1 also had their results out, and people aren't particularly happy with the outlook that they're giving on revenue. So all up, not particularly great numbers out of the retailers yet, but there's quite a few more to come, so we'll have to see how that goes. All right, Michael, thank you so much. Thank you very we much, We appreciate Kelsey. you being here, right. and of course, you can catch Michael and all the market scanning at 10.30 on the Market Hub. You don't want to miss it.